Athens, Ohio for this football game, and there's an energetic crowd awaiting the opening kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Number the pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Kickoff returns 25 yards. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Decent pickup. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Yeah, I love this offensive coordinator. I've always really appreciated his approach to the game. He's a little bit unorthodox in his approach, and this time he gives the wide receiver a chance to carry the football to pick up a first down. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Taken down around the 48-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Taken down at the 10. Makes the tackle. Call the game at eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. From the 14-yard line, it's third down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. It's on the ground. Scoops up the loose ball. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He makes his way to about the 28. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Here's a handoff, left side. Brought down the 27 yard line. from their own 27-yard line. Second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Call it a gain of seven yards. And they're gonna put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Quick strike, and he drops it. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Uh, 
Brought down at the 39-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul. Clippy. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. First and 10, ball on their own 16. Nice run there as they work the outside. Rodgers gets about four yards on the option keeper. Second and six. Fires it out, and he's immediately tackled. Pitch out, got the corner. He goes out of bounds around the 35-yard line. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his receiver, and down he goes at the 47-yard line. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. Throws into coverage, just picked off. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Throws in the middle. Tackles at the 43-yard line. Number 49 brings him down at the 43-yard line. That brings up second and five. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it 37. From their own 42 yard line. Third down. Looks middle, got his back. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Hudson with the tackle at the 49 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That brings up second and nine. They bring the quarterback down. Call a loss of 12 yards. That'll bring up third and nine. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. It's like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. We played one, and this one's scoreless.
Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlock after the first 15 minutes. Odom, the return man. From the 15. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. They line up at the 14. First down. And he has it on the corner. Makes it to the 24. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it 35. From their own 20-yard line. Third down. He's going to try and scramble, and he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Wilson is the punter. He got hit hard. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Slings it, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. They bring him down in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Morris was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position in this football game. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. Got a man open. Bad pass. Allison was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Rodgers back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. For a gain of 10 yards. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throws complete, he's hit right away. Number 49 brings him down at the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Four. 
And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. Man left, man left. First down. Four down. 49 to Mike. Watch 49. Throws incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. Number 23 makes the tackle to the 39 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Let's it fly. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 50-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and turn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 7-0. At the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 42. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Odom, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and three. Gives it up the gut. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. Gain of three yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 7-0, Bowling Green.
Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. He's Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. People say college football is evolving, it's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Bowling Green, up seven points. Here's an opening. A decent run here, right side. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. On the throw, incomplete pass. Number 86 was the intended receiver. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Throws it in a hurry. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. That brings up second and five. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Tackle after decent pickup. Makes his way out to about the 25. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. He fights forward to about the 23. Gain of two yards. Man left, man left. That makes it second and eight. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. And they make the stop at the nine yard line. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Brings up second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. Come on. 
It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Throws in a hurry. Cox was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. Kicks up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Bowling Green's shown that they can score points. We can see that, but it has not been pretty at all in the third quarter. Well, they just seem to have gone cold here in the third quarter. And if they can get a big play on defense or special teams, maybe that'll possibly ignite these guys. Bowling Green is up four. Caught, open field, tackle at the 35. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. And down he goes, around the 47 yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Here comes the pressure. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll bring up second and 12. From the 41-yard line, second down. Tackles him for a loss. Calling a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. And we'll go 37 to Mike. Mike 37. Right on. <laughs> Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 45. Loss of two on the play. Fourth down. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid front right here. Touchdown. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Brought down at the 33-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Bowling Green holds a four-point lead. 
and they got it. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Tackles him hard at the 13-yard line. That's a loss of nine in the play. That makes it fourth and nine. Lack of offense or great defense. Call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 7-3, Falcons. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On the ball, on the ball. Quick, quick, quick. Odom is back deep to return the punt. Odom fields it at the 46. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40. Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Uh, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard. And at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. Wilson is waiting for the snap. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Well, this guy seems to just be the spark plug for this defense. They seem to go when they play, depending on the vibe and energy that he brings. And today, boy, he is bringing. I think it has a lot to do with the way they're pressuring the quarterback. They're just doing a great job as a unit and not allowing this quarterback to get into any rhythm. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter football. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Bowling Green is up by four. Player gets a handoff to the right. Runs outside for a nice game. Five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. 
That's a seven-yard gain for the halfback on the running play. A little bit of over-pursuit by the defense gave him the room he needed to get the first. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And off to the left. He's at midfield. And they push him out around the 48-yard line. That's a game 17 on the play. First down. And he's immediately tackled. Coming on the tackle at the 34-yard line. First down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's 2nd and 12. Ball on the 36. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Just over two minutes in the game. After a nice run up the middle. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. He makes his way out to about the 12. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's taken down at the nine. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Nice run there. Call it a gain of six yards. That brings up second and goal. Him hard at the six. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Bowling Green is up four. the tailback oh what a hit stopped <laughs> and 
And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, 7-3, Bowling Green. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.